Well, welcome to Michigan and welcome to Ludington State Park. Yes. We are not sure exactly what all we're doing, but we are starting our visit <laughs> with a hike. What's our hike? Uh, bridge Trail, Lost Lake Trail, Island Trail, yep. combination thereof. We are uh, we are right along Lake Michigan. We're like uh, we're like right point to it, right over the, right there. We're, we're we're right there in Michigan. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Ludington State Park is situated between the 5,000 acre Hamlin Lake and seven miles of Sandy Lake Michigan shoreline. It features sand dunes, the Big Sable Point Lighthouse, wetlands, marshlands, and forests. Our first hiking route would incorporate all of these by initially heading north on the Lost Lake Trail and then Ridge Trail to the highest elevation point in the park at 690 feet. From here, it was all downhill along the island trail back to our truck. We ended with just under five miles and a mere 250 feet of gain. After our morning hike, we sat and chilled at the beach for several hours before heading back to our Airbnb campsite. That's right, we booked a campsite on Airbnb. According to locals, you have to be a magician to score a campsite at the state park, but several other options are available for camping in the area if you open your stay radius up just a bit. Storms moved in near sunset, so we broke out the stakes and guy lines to prepare for the worse. How was last night, Alana? Rainy, windy, lots of lights flickering all over the place. <laughs> After allowing the tent fabric and awning to dry out, we headed back to the park for another hike. This time we decided to go to the Big Sable Point Lighthouse. The trail begins in Pines Campground and heads out the old road, which we grew bored of quickly, so we opted to walk the beach to the lighthouse instead. That's a good one. <laughs> Once at the lighthouse, it was $16 for both of us to gain access to the 130 steps that led us to the top for amazing views of the lakes and dunes.
back on the ground, we decided to make a return trip inland through the dunes rather than along the shore. When we arrived back at the truck, we'd accumulated five and a half miles on this route, but I must say, due to the heat and loose sand, it felt like much more than this. So here's the deal, you know, we left the park, we had intentions to go back to our campsite, we were going to make some dinner and then wrap the video up there and uh, honestly, we just forgot. Alana and I got to gabbing and talking away and next thing you know, uh, we were home and we were like, you know what, we never wrapped the video up. Anyway, we had a fantastic time at the park, the wetlands, the sand, the shoreline, all of it, very unique to have all of that in one place. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, but hopefully you're also going to go visit it for yourself. For us, we've just got a few hiking trips uh, coming up before we head to Virgin Islands here in about, uh, about a month. Hopefully we'll see you there. Bye-bye.